Hi y'all, it's Melissa from My Puzzle Mod, the Texas Hippie. Hope everyone is doing well tonight. If you're new to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting, um, all that great stuff. If you've been with my channel, you know I've been um, battling COVID um, for over a month now. Um, have COVID long, that's <coughs> what they call it now. So, um, pretty much on my left side of my lung, the pneumonia just kind of exploded everywhere and spread all through my lung. Um, starting to have some pain in my right side, so I'm kind of concerned that um, possibly the pneumonia is going into the right side. Uh, so when I talked to my uncle today, um, he told me either go to the hospital or call my doctor. So I called the doctor. Um, Sean ended up having to get called into work this evening, so um, she was supposed to call me around 5. Um, typically, she sends me to the ER, so... Um, I called and I told them to call me tomorrow. So they're going to call me sometime around 2 something tomorrow. Of course, he works again for another week because he only gets Tuesdays off and he didn't even get this Tuesday off. So it's kind of been tough without him being home. It's kind of hard on me. But um, I'm trying. He did go get me something to eat. Um, before he left, so he went to um, Jack in the Box and got me some of those little mini tacos and um, a few jalapeno poppers. Took me um, several hours, but I did get it down. I'm trying to gain some weight back. I think this month alone, I probably lost 20 um, pounds. So I'm um, trying to gain some weight back since I've lost so much. Um, Actually, I think my eyes are looking better than they had. They're not as dark underneath. I do think I look a little better. I don't know. What do y'all think? Um, kind of uh, try not to talk to a whole lot to people. Um, pretty much the videos and Deshaun is all I talk to, or if I have to, like I did talk to my uncle earlier, and if I have to call somebody. If it's a necessity, I do. But other than that, it's, it's really a strain on me. So I don't do it too much. Uh, it hurts my chest. It can get me coughing. It's got my head hurting now. Um, it's it's just difficult to talk. Uh, first things in the morning, it's really difficult to breathe. I, I've turned off the air because I think sometimes it... Um, it hurts um, to breathe in any kind of cool air. So I'm kind of concerned with it, the weather getting kind of cooler. Um, if it's going to irritate me more on my lungs. So um, that's kind of my concern. I didn't get any video of dinner. But just little fried tacos and jalapeno boppers. He said it was probably his... Um, best hamburger he's ever had and we've had good hamburger place you know just mom and pop kind of shops here but he really liked um jack-in-the-box hamburgers can't really say that i've ever had one because this is probably only like the maybe third time i've ever eaten there in my entire life so um i'd probably rather the regular um tacos but there were like 15 little mini tacos like I said, it did take me a while, but I did eat most of them. I did some of them. I just ate the meat center part, you know, the around with the crust and everything. But I left the part that didn't have any meat. But I ate a lot. So I'm trying to gain weight. Um, this talking is getting my throat hurting and this strain. <coughs> sorry, I feel like I'm coughing in y'all's face. I know you're through a screen, but sorry. Um just comes I've been sneezing a lot today um but for the most part i'm hoping i'm starting to do better i really um i would like to have um, another chest x-ray at least to let them see how the pneumonia is kind of progressing and um see if there's any lung damage the er doctors did want me um when they admitted me their plan was to have a pulmonologist come in in that idiot doctor sorry if there's any doctors out there but he was an idiot uh, when he discharged me I didn't know what he was doing hadn't even looked at my chart I had to tell him what was wrong with me so um 
I'm not very happy with that, but I haven't had the energy to even call the hospital to complain. Then I'll probably end up back in there before okay. it's cleared up anyway. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, I had planned hope for Sean to cook something tonight, but I did that he got called into work. I just need some food. I'm really wanting um, tuna salad. And I have never had a tuna melt. And I don't know if I'm wanting it because I need something with taste. I need to taste something. And it's been hard to taste for the last couple of weeks. Now with my COVID, I didn't initially start with no taste or smell. It kind of progressed through that after maybe two weeks, I think, into it is when um, I lost taste and stuff. Probably the same as Sean. He lost taste and smell kind of at the end of his um, symptoms. And I thank God that he doesn't have much symptoms anymore, but I do know that he's still coughing. And that does concern me just a bit. And um, he'd wanted to go get a chest x-ray over the weekend. And he never does anything else about it. And I kind of forgot um, but I kind of need to ask him if he still feels like he needs to because his chest is kind of hurting. And I think he is concerned about the pneumonia since I've had it. And he had bronchitis during his, is what they said that he had. And I honestly, I don't know if he had ended up going him to be taken to the ER while I was in the hospital or what, how he got that um, diagnosis. But I know he had it. Um, a lot of it's been a blur, um, still is points and the doctor, the, the ER doctors told me the other day that, um, that was part of it, the confusion and, um, an inability to concentrate is part of, um, the COVID lung, I guess it's just part of the lung. I don't know if it's part of the regular COVID, but I get, I know it's part of the, um, extended COVID, um. Oh, that's kind of where we're at. I really want to go sit outside, but Sean's moved my chairs to the back, and um, I don't have the energy to go pull one around the front, and I don't want to sit in the back. I want to be able to kind of see, and not just the, the fences. And the neighbor next door put up an ace fence on the fence that had fallen down, and I don't want to look at an ace fence either. So, um, I guess that's it for tonight. If we do anything, if we go outside, I'm gonna try to see if he'll go outside with me. He's still not home. We're got a chance at thunderstorms and tornadoes um, tonight, overnight. Getting a cold front coming in. So, um, oh, my chest really hurts tonight too. But um, it's kind of where we're at. I wanted him home before the storm started, but I don't know if he's gonna get home. I know he said he was gonna only work as long as one of the managers, the one that he um, really likes, is working tonight. He stayed late, too, because they were so short. Um, I don't know if he's still working or not, because I've messaged him, and he hasn't. Um, well, not Sean, but the manager. Um, I've messaged Sean, and he hasn't answered back any response, and he hasn't answered my calls. So I don't know if he's staying late or what kind of really hate being on myself all the time, but it's kind of life right now, I guess. So, um, I appreciate y'all watching, and really appreciate any, um, kind of support, like, um, subscribing, hitting the little bell, notification, liking, commenting, sharing, all that great stuff, and, um, hopefully I will be up to cooking and doing some kind of hauls soon, and I'm sorry for, um, King of the Hill in the background, because that's what I'm watching. Because for some reason I can't get signed into Netflix and uh, I don't know if anything was on direct TV that I wanted to watch. So right now I'm watching Hulu and King of the Hill is one of my favorite shows. So that's what I'm watching. Um, so peace from Texas and y'all stay safe, healthy, wear your mask, wear your gloves, stay warm if it's cold and um, y'all have a good night.